Welcome to Backer Buddy and the world of crowdfunding. If you're watching this video, then you are wanting to create a crowdfunding campaign for a specific individual need. Perhaps you require additional funding for a medical treatment or for your studies, or perhaps your child has been accepted into a program internationally that you need to raise money for. Crowdfunding could very well be the answer. It is important to however remember that there are a few key elements that make crowdfunding campaigns a success. Step one, realistic expectations. Many of us have heard of crowdfunding campaigns that raise millions towards a specific need. It is important to understand that not all crowdfunding campaigns succeed and it requires a lot of hard work and effort to get your campaign out there and funded. So when you set your target, please bear in mind that targets above 250,000 Rand are quite intimidating to donors. So set a realistic target and aim to achieve it. If you reach your target, we at Backer Buddy can of course assist you in raising your target. Step number two, tell a story. The most important part of your crowdfunding campaign is the content. You need to articulate your need and your desire to your potential donors. Donors like to understand exactly where their money is going. If you have a need, try and break it down into small little pieces. If you need to raise money for your child to get to a sporting tournament, explain that the flights will cost 10,000, the accommodation will cost 5,000. Donors need to understand the tangible element to your campaign. It is also important to bring an emotive element. Explain what the donation would mean to you. Explain what it would mean to you or your family member if this target was reached. Think long and hard about the content before you put it up on your campaign. It is of course always a fantastic idea to have a video attached to your campaign. And nowadays you can just whip out your smartphone and ask somebody to hold it up and speak into the camera. So take a bit of time and effort and think long and hard about your content before you set up a Backer Buddy campaign. Step number three, tapping your networks. Crowdfunding works in a very specific way. The first people to contribute to your campaign will most likely be your family members. After your family members have contributed, then your close friends and extended family will contribute. And only once that has happened, will the greater community get involved. So the first thing that you need to do is share your campaign with those closest to you. And if they get behind you, then others are more likely to get behind you too. It is also an opportunity for you to get creative and to sit down and think who your networks really are. Perhaps you could share your campaign with the members of your church. Maybe you could send it to your old high school and ask them to include it in their newsletter. We all have a network. It sometimes just takes a little bit of thinking in order to determine where they all are. Step number four, somebody to stand up for you. If I stood here and told you what a wonderful person I was and that I was in dire straits and needed your support, how would you respond? If my sister came forward and said to you, Catherine is my sister, she's an amazing person, she's in dire needs and needs your support, how would you as a donor respond? We have found on Backer Buddy that champion fundraising often does a lot better than when an individual sets up a campaign for their own needs. So chat to your family and friends and see who is willing to stand up for you in your time of need. In the example of Renee Cohen's Cancer Fund, her sister came forward and set up a campaign on Backer Buddy and marketed it on behalf of Renee. All funds raised were used towards her cancer treatment. In conclusion, Make sure that you have all your basics in place and then you are ready to start your crowdfunding journey with Backer Buddy.